I think there's going to be a lot of eyes on me during this video, so I'm going to address this as if I'm talking publicly and not directly to my audience, which is how I normally would do it. So, hello, my name is Felix Schellberg, but you probably know me as PewDiePie. I've been making videos on YouTube for about the last six years. It's been a hobby that uh, I've been fortunate enough to have as my job for most of that time. I've been extremely lucky and way more successful than I could ever possibly have dreamt about. And as I'm sure a lot of you <laughs> are aware, I make a substantial living from doing YouTube videos. And the reason why you know this is because that's all the media has ever acknowledged before. Besides from from now. <laughs> I think most internet personalities can agree with me that the media generally doesn't like us very much. Variety, for example, posted in 2013, if PewDiePie is YouTube's top talent, we are all doomed. That was sort of my introduction to the media. This is in 2013. And although I don't think I understood it at the time, I think what this article shows more than anything, old school media does not like internet personalities because they're scared of us. We have so much influence and such a large voice and I don't think they understand it, and that's why they keep this approach to us. I actually did an interview in 2014 with the Wall Street Journal, and before then, I didn't really do interviews because of this. <laughs> but I thought, hey, Wall Street Journal, that's a well-respected news outlet. Uh, that would be a great way for people to finally hear about my story. And maybe I'm a little biased, but I think my story is kind of interesting. You know, I'm completely self-made, and I managed to become really successful. And I thought, hey, Maybe that's something worth celebrating, but no, it always just comes back to the money. Which is funny because that's something I've never showed in anyone's faces. It's people shoving their faces in mine. Uh, I never flaunted with any of it because I have generally very inter little interest of it. And there you go. That's the title. Wall Street Journal, YouTube's biggest draw plays games, earns four million a year. Money is really all I've ever been acknowledged for. And I'm not saying this to put me on a pedestal. I'm just saying this to show an example. But I, I literally raised millions of dollars to charities. That's rarely ever spoken about. Now, over the years of me doing YouTube, I become less and less tolerant of the, me the media and what they're saying. If there's anything I learned about the media f from being a public figure is how they blatantly misrepresent people for their own personal gain, even viciously attack people just to further themselves. And if you watch my channel closely, you can tell that it's something that I've really been fighting back on lately. I, I literally said the media is stupid and that clickbait media is a huge problem because all they really need is a strong title. That's all that really matters. And the more I punch back, the more I get back as well. It's something that I noticed. I'm just a guy. It's literally just me. There's not a producer out there hiding behind the wall. I <laughs> Uh, there's no writer. There's no camera guy. So so what am I supposed to do about this? Well, I make fun of it. This year, I said to myself I was going to be more honest. Um, I'm not going to keep smiling to the media. I'm going to be more open about things. And I knew there was going to be a price to pay for that. I thought, you know what? It's worth it. I've been successful. I can, I can take it. And here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Disney severs ties with YouTube star PewDiePie after anti-Semitic post. Now, basically, if I'm sure you, as you already know, uh, the article came out from the Wall Street Journal basically accusing me of being an anti-Semite. I want to address the biggest issue first, which I think is the whole uh, guys holding up the sign thing. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it. It's been everywhere. A lot of people loved the video, and a lot of people didn't. And it's almost like two generations of people arguing whether this is okay or not. But regardless of that, I just wanted to reiterate that my intention was to just to show how stupid the website is and how far you can push it by paying $5. I'm sorry for the words that I used, uh, as I know they offended people. And I admit that the joke itself went too far. I do strongly believe that you can joke about anything, but I also believe that there's a there's a right way and not the best way to joke about things. And I love to push boundaries, but I would consider myself a rookie comedian. And I've definitely made mistakes like this before, but it's always been a 
growing and learning experience for me and it's something that I actually learned to really appreciate and I think this whole situation has definitely been that for me and it's something that I'm going to keep in mind uh, moving forward. So Wall Street Journal, a well-known respected news outlet, posted that I, during the past six months, have made nine videos that have anti-Semitic messaging in it. I heard about this before the story came out and I thought this is absurd. What, wait, sorry, was that Wall Street Journal or The Sun? I didn't quite, I didn't quite get that. <laughs> How is this news? This is insane. So basically they went to the biggest brands that I work with, Disney and YouTube, and they pushed them to the corner and said, hey, what do you think about this? Hate? Look at this. Look at this. This is bad. Obviously cornering them, forcing them to sever their ties with me. I fully understand that. And I don't want people to think that, oh, I can I can joke about whatever I want. It, just, it doesn't have to affect me. I'm pootie pie. I understand that these things have consequences. This video is not me trying to justify that. Here's the thing, though. They don't call it jokes. They call it posts. I made a point that the media takes what I say out of context. They take that and put it out of context to use against me and to portray, portray me as a Nazi. They used another video where I joke that the YouTube Heroes program is seen basically like a Nazi scheme where I look at um, a Hitler speech and they use that as proof that I'm a Nazi or anti-Semite. I'm not kidding. They used even me pointing my arm like this. Technically, they can they can use this as evidence as well because that's what they did. I'm not joking. The Wall Street Journal did this. It's the most absurd thing I have ever <laughs> heard. <laughs> like, maybe the sun. Maybe the sun. I can understand. There is more. They took another video where I explain how the media is taking everything I say and do out of context and how damaging that is. And then they took the last part of that, which was a joke where I dressed up uh, in a uh, soldier outfit and again looking at Hitler's speech. They took that part. They ignored the whole part about me talking about context and they took that part and put it out of context. They took parts where in my game other people created swastikas and my title of that video is Stop Doing This. Stop Doing This. That's basically what I said. Stop making swastikas in my game. They took that as evidence against me. This, this whole thing is not a post. It was an attack towards me. It was an attack by the media to try and discredit me, to try and de decrease my influence and my economic worth. That's what this was. These three gentlemen from Wall Street Journal that did this are also very proud of this. They watched literally hundreds of my videos. I hope you had fun, by the way, <laughs> to try and find as much evidence as possible for me to try and appear as anti-Semite. I know this sounds crazy and all, but their way of justifying this, the, the way they're justifying this is evidence that I'm a Nazi because I pointed, I fucking pointed somewhere, is because apparently uh, neo-Nazi group have been referencing me, have been praising me for making these kind of jokes. And I was unaware of this, so I made a statement as soon as I find out about this saying, I do not support these hateful groups in any way. But that's never going to be the title. That's not, that doesn't fit their personal agenda. That's not the, that's not the story they want. This is not an article. This was a personal attack against me. It is so clear. This form of cherry picking just shows it so clearly to me. So what have I done to deserve this? I made some jokes that people, people don't like. And you know what? If people don't like my jokes, I fully respect that. I fully understand that. I acknowledge that I took things too far and that's something I definitely will keep in mind moving forward. But their reaction and the outrage has been nothing but insanity. People celebrating the fact that my show got cancelled, which is something literally hundreds of people worked on. Is that fair? <laughs> is that worth celebrating? I, over, over some jokes that you disagree with? JK Rowling is apparently not a fan of me. Again, it's fine to not agree with someone's sense of humor, but calling me a fascist, how is that helping anyone? Some people have been saying that these jokes are normalizing hatred. Regardless if that's true or not, spoilers, it's not. Unless there's 53 million Nazis watching me for some reason. A personal attack like this to portray me as anti-Semitic is doing no one a favor. You're targeting a, some Swedish guy that <laughs> tries to be funny. Most of the time, it doesn't really go well. Very offensive. But he means well. <laughs> But is there any hate in what I do? No, absolutely not. Personally, 
I think they are the ones normalizing hatred. Because there is actual hatred out there. there. I'm just pointing with my hand. Calm down. There's actual hatred out there. There's actual issues. Instead of celebrating my show getting cancelled, why don't we focus on that instead? Why don't we focus on some real issues? Why is that the way to approach things in 2017? I'm still here. I'm still making videos. Nice try, Wall Street Journal. Try again, motherfuckers. Finally, I want to give the <laughs> the warmest thanks <laughs> to everyone who supported me. <sighs> it's it's been incredible to see. <laughs> Thank you, everyone in the YouTube community. <laughs> hey, it means it means a lot. Thank thank you. Thank us. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now, the most appropriate way to end this, I think, is the tenth thing. The tenth not secret Nazi thing that went right past Wall Street Journal. I can't believe they didn't notice it. Our secret Nazi salute. The bro fist. <laughs>